Okay, today we are going to talk about a nifty little tool called Password Safe. You can see I have the uh, download here on my desktop already, but first let's show you where to go. Open up your favorite internet browser, whether it's Internet Explorer, Firefox is my personal favorite. You could be using Opera, Safari, it doesn't matter. Just get on your internet, go to Google. From Google, you're going to just type in Password Safe. And you can see my Google auto discovery thing he's asking me, do I want to crack some stuff? No, but there's password safe right there. So we'll say password safe and what we want to do is we want to go to the uh, password safe sourceforge.net here and just go ahead and click on that. And then you want to click either download over here on the left or in the center it says secure your passwords. Now either way you're going to get the same thing. So just go ahead and click on one and it will bring this up and that's ugly actually we're gonna go ahead and hit the one in the center it's just gonna auto download it'll be better and they say there it goes you have chosen to open and I'm gonna hit save the file you hit save file and it downloads and I've already downloaded it like I said so let's go ahead and install it double click the icon and it may not be on your desktop it's wherever your downloads go so you'll double click the icon and then you hit I agree. This is an option if you want to just install it on your thumb drive. I, uh, You can do that. Either way it's going to work fine. I'm going to hit regular because I'm installing it on this computer. And I do not want it to start automatically because that drives me nuts when programs do that. I do want to install, I don't want to install it in the start menu. I do want to have an icon on the desktop because we're going to use this tool today. So I just hit, by the way, I hit next and then it's going to say I'm going to install it in password safe and program folders. That's fine. Just hit install. It takes about two seconds to install it. It's a small little program. And we'll just hit close because it's done. And see here's the icon right here. Password safe. You may also notice it down here on my taskbar. That's because I never removed the icon. So here we go. We're going to open up password safe and it will say ooh where's your password files and it already sees one that I've had there because I just uninstalled it so I could install it for you but we're gonna act like we don't have one and we'll hit new database and I'm gonna call it I'm gonna actually call it my database so it's already got it there but hit my database hit save it will say ignore that and it will say give your safe a combination and call it whatever you want for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name my password widget w i d g e t We'll repeat it like you do when you're signing up for anything online. And hit OK. And I did this on purpose because it's like, this passphrase is weak. It's too short. Well, I'm going to use it anyway. I don't recommend you use a weak passphrase, but you do have to remember that you have to remember this passphrase. It passphrase, password is all it is. So go ahead and hit no and then obviously change it to what you want. But I'm going to use yes just because I don't care. OK, and then you open up this ugly looking box, but this is password safe. This is the whole thing. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to add a group, which is kind of like a folder, but not really. And you can do that either by right-clicking and hit Add Group, or you can go to Edit, Add Group. See, it says New Group, and we're going to call this group Social Sites. And I could have used capital letters, but I didn't. We'll click out of it and see it's got a little thing there. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a entry into the database. So you're going to either right click and hit add entry or you can hit this button over here that has the same icon. Add entry and see it says social sites is the group and if we had more than one group we could just change it to whatever we wanted. And we're going to call it, we're going to call it, uh, well we'll call it facebook.com and username of my username and you name it whatever you want, whatever your username is. And then password. This is, of course, the important part. This is the whole point of this program. Now, you're going to obviously put in whatever password you already have, or if you're like me and you don't like the idea, because you probably are using the same password for every website, for your email, your MySpace, your Facebook, your bank site, your everything you're using. And the idea behind password safe is everything can be different, and you don't have to remember any of it. So, we're going to act as though it's you have a new MySpace or a new Facebook account. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a password created just for that Facebook account. And it's going to be something, you know, nut crazy. It's going to be something no one could understand or remember, and that's good. 
Now, I don't know what password policy Facebook has, but we're going to assume that it does this. I opened up, I hit override policy, this little checkbox thingy here. And I don't know of any website that won't allow a password that is 15 characters long. So, I mean, if you typed in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up through 0 and then started over again, up to 15 numbers or whatever, that's 15 things long. Okay? And they always accept lowercase, they always accept uppercase, and they always accept numbers. Some of them let you go real crazy and have weird symbols like percent and dollar sign and whatever. So we'll go ahead and do this, just this password. This is going to be our, our policy for password safe. So we'll hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Generate. And obviously you can't see it, but if you hit Show, it's going to go ahead and show you the 15-digit password. This is your ugly password for Facebook. And with that, we'll go ahead and hide it again. With that, we'll go down here into the notes section. And you can actually type anything you want in here. My notes about Facebook. And the URL is facebook.com. And I don't actually do anything with auto type. I think it's just a silly extra feature, but that's just me. And then down here, password expires on never. This is something that will tell you your password is expired. It doesn't actually like delete it or anything, but it tells you, you know, you tell it how often you want it to expire, and then it lets you go ahead and warn you every, you know, say it's a month. It tells you every month change your password. So anyway, so there we're gonna go. We're gonna hit OK, because this is it. That's we've just saved your whole Facebook thing is done, and you'll go ahead and well, actually, we'll just close this. So this is start fresh. You're going to go to Facebook.com and you will go to log in. And I don't have a Facebook account for uh, security reasons. I just don't like the idea of putting out personal information. But we're going to act like you do. And you'll open up Password Safe. And then it'll be like, hey, I, I found the password database you just used last time. What's the, what's the combination for that there? And you'll type in your password. And again, we used Widget. And we'll hit Enter or OK. And there it is, social sites. So we can double click this or we can hit the little plus sign. And there's Facebook.com. And see, I put in my username was my username, but say your username is like, you know, Joe the Pirate. It would say Joe the Pirate. So then you when you went to Facebook, you would know to type in under your username Joe the Pirate. And then all you have to do is double click on the uh, line here and it saves the password to your clipboard, which is like if you hit copy, that's what it does. So, and then you would just go into your Facebook account, which here, I'll load it up really quick. And I don't even know where it's going to be at on their screen, because I've never, oh, that's, okay, that's real simple. So you would type in your username, and then go to password, and right click, and just hit paste. And that's that 15 digit long password that we made. Now, then you're going, well, wait a sec, you know, it's in the clipboard. That means that I could just go and I could I could just paste it into a notepad. And you can, but the joy of this thing, no, I don't want to say that. The joy of this thing is we're in Facebook. We've signed in. After a couple of minutes, this thing will time out and then we'll just lock the safe. And any time it locks the safe, whether it times out or you close it, it will delete that thing from the clipboard and... Yep, see, it's gone. It won't, it won't let me paste it. So, that is password safe, and now you've seen it, now you know how to use it, and I hope you do use it.